What's going on, everybody? So I bought this bad boy for a driving trip that I took across country with my family to Reno, Nevada from Florida. I just wanted to make sure they had an emergency kit in the car while on the road, and that's when I found this little guy. Now, don't let the size fool you. Let's see what's inside. A poncho. Nice. Jumper cables. It's about eight feet long, by the way. Ah, it comes with adhesive tape as well. Snow shovel for windows, not too shabby. Safety hammer for the seatbelt cutter. Best to keep that up front when you're driving, by the way. An emergency blanket. Hopefully, we never have to use that. An LED flashlight. Let's see if it's rechargeable. Aha, it's a hand crank. I had to crank this bad boy a little bit to get it going, though. A pair of gloves. You can always use a pair of gloves. Tire pressure gauge. Shoo, shoo. Test pencil for the fuses. Screwdriver with both flathead and Phillips head. Nice. 10 piece fuse set with alligator clamps for the fuses. Not too shabby. Ah, tow rope. It's about 10 feet with three tons capacity. Now this is cool to have. I mean, now you want people to see you while you're out on the road changing your tire or whatever the case, and this will help. Reflective triangle. Boom. Nice. And lastly, a reflective vest. Triple XL. And it fits whatever you're wearing. Now that's a total of 16 emergency assist items in this little guy. Me likey. It's always good to have an emergency kit in the car. You definitely should have one in your car. You never know what could happen. I love this quote by George Ellis. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Well then, not too shabby. As always, thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. Also, please leave a comment below on what you thought of today's review. Until next time, what can I say? Man, that's sweet.